What is going on everybody? Welcome back. Today you can see I am here at Free Spirit Recreation. What that means is the new tent setup is going on the truck. We also have Alan and Bacchus, yes Bacchus, over here from Extrusion Overland. They brought me a full height rack from Wichita, Kansas. We are, they're basically putting it all together and gonna throw it on the truck, then we'll throw the tent on, kind of show you guys the ins and outs. Uh, of the new rack setup and the new tent setup. We're going with the Evolution tent, I think the 55 inch, until we finalize and get everything prototype tested for the new below cab height short bed tent for the Tacomas from FSR. Let's go inside, see what they've, uh, they've got done already and dive into installs. So these guys have already got the rack built. Um, so they're gonna throw it on there real quick. We'll kind of show you some new features of the rack, new components, design features, and all that fun stuff. And then we're gonna throw the tent up there and show you what that thing looks like, but it's amazing. So here's the thing. Most tent companies will claim, oh, it's a 30 second setup. Yeah, but then you have to throw all your stuff in there, right? So you're taking up room in your cab with sleeping bags, pillows, blankets, all that stuff. When with this tent, you can leave your sleeping bag, your pillow, your blanket inside the tent. All you have to do is pop it up, set it up, and you're truly done, right? Everything's already set in there, ready to go. But I'll show you that tent here in a minute after we get this rack bolted in. So like most projects, we started out one way and decided this isn't going to work the way we want it to, so now we're switching things up. That's why you guys saw Alan chopping up some extrusion because we're going to go a little bit different of a route for the access gates. But it's almost done. this unique mount that is basically three pieces sandwiched together and it creates this unique and sleek uh, mount of the extrusion where now you have a lot more real estate in the T-slot. You don't have anything coming up through the sides uh, and it's as strong or stronger than, than the previous sheet metal brackets that he had. Uh, so this is gonna be an option for, for the bed rack it's really great for those who have a lower height rack because you keep that, that real estate, like I said, on those T-slot channels. Uh, but you know, it also just looks great. So that's the part that I love about this design. All right, so the rack is far enough along and enough built so that we can actually throw a tent on top. So let's go ahead and throw the tent on top and then we'll finish building the access gates for the rack here. I love watching. Say it louder for the people in the back. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs>
All right, so we've got tent mounted. The access gates are, I think, almost done. And then we have to do the other side, mounting the action tracks underneath on that slide. And then it'll be done. This tent is massive. But I'm actually really excited to camp in this thing in the snow. It's very cozy. Tent is on, rack is on. Um, we were doing some prototype stuff with this rack. So not all of the geometry was perfect and all the pieces were perfect, which we kind of figured might happen, which did happen. We've got the bike mount on. We've got the molly plates on. The tent's obviously on. The action tracks are on this slide out right here. So if I need them, I just slide them out and they're there. Push them back in. And they're locked in place. On this side, we ran into issues with the access gates and the strut. So those are solid for now. Um, we'll do new struts and everything once we get the drum machine right, bigger molly plates. And then we're gonna have a bin about half the length of the bed inside that slides back and forth as I need it. And we'll just go from there. But we had, we had a feeling there's not everything was gonna line up perfectly, which is fine. I'll update you once I get everything dialed in and we get all the geometry right and everything right. And you guys can kind of see what it looks like when it's how it's supposed to work. But for now, I'm really excited to be working with uh, FSR, try out this tent. I'm actually really excited about the tri layer and how big this tent is inside. I'll be camping in the snow and the cold with this thing and really testing it out. I don't think I'm gonna fit in my apartment parking garage, but that's okay. I'm only there for until November 7th, which probably when this is coming out. Once I move to the house, I have an eight foot garage, so I'll be good then. I should have parked in a different garage for a little bit, which is fine. Um, but yeah, FSR, stoked to be working with you guys. Extrusion Overland, always love working with them. Um, they've been nothing but great to me. Obviously, the racks are amazing. And you know, being innovative and changing stuff all the time is really cool too. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comments below. But until next time, peace.